Embrace the Myth. Um, that was originally an Oracle song as well. It was actually introduced into the live set not long before we broke up. We had written more songs after, or I had written more songs after that, but uh, Embrace was one of the last ones that we actually performed as a band. That song Embrace the Myth, this was all, um, all, all Jason pretty well. Um, and what I really liked about Embrace the Myth was, was the, the vocal line. I really enjoyed putting this one together. Um, and really enjoyed doing this one in the studio, probably the most out of, out of, all, of the, um, all of the songs we did. It was basically written about the power of the imagination and how important it is to think outside of the square, how, how things that non-imaginative people never would have imagined could be possible, such as flying or television or anything like that. When I was writing for Oracle, I basically wrote on the guitar, I didn't record anything, I wrote the lyrics in my head, and it was all very influenced by particularly a lot of thrash that was around at the time, bands like Anthrax and Creator, which were more based on getting a certain feel from the vocals to fit the aggression of the music rather than work around melodies, which is what we really became. Um, this was kind of for me, a bit of a, a non-song originally. It was it was a good song, um, not to take anything away from it, but there's some songs that you always feel are just album tracks. Um, there's been many a time that we've done that in Lord over the years where we've written a song and it's been a good solid song, but it's it's really kind of been just an album track. Where this reworking, the guys really cut the fat off it entirely. Um, and when they gave it to me, it was very much a case of okay, I can hear a lot of aggression in this. So my, my goal was to really get a very metal edge to this particular song. There's a way some of the main riffs are played are a bit different. There's mutings in it instead of just constant open string playing. Um, some very high painkiller style vocals in the background. And uh, yeah, by the time I got to the middle section with all the, the fast double kicks and all that sort of stuff, it was just brutally heavy. And um, I suggested to the guys that this is now the new album opener because it just had such punch. At the time, we didn't actually have a painting for Embrace the Myth, so I was looking forward to seeing what Dimitar would come up with. It really represented his his vision of, of the song, and uh, that's the great thing about that song. It's open to all sorts of interpretation, and I, I'm sure any other artist given the same, um, the same lyrics probably would have come up with something completely different, so that pretty much sums up what I was trying to achieve with the song.